This video is brought to you by Answerly, a question platform that pays you for adding high-quality answers on different questions. The users are rewarded in Answerly tokens, which they can easily convert into dollars or any other cryptocurrency by using one of the exchanges mentioned in the description. These past years have been filled with unprecedented changes, uncertainty, fear, loss, isolation, grief, and division. We're all adopting new habits that change the way we live, like mask wearing and social distancing. As this pandemic wears on and the number of cases in our state continue to set records, it's disheartening time. Many of us are faced with making back-to-school decisions when there are more questions than answers and no decision feels right. But what about our spiritual habits? Making time with God a daily habit can be even more life-changing. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you these five spiritual habits that'll change your life. If you're new here, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notifications bell to get updates whenever we post. You make decisions each day. Make the same decisions often enough and they become habits. Powerful, God-given gifts to help you walk with God and stay healthy. Imagine if you had to relearn to tie your shoes, drive a car, or find your way to work each day. God designed our brains to search for and create patterns of efficiency to move into autopilot so that our conscious brain can focus on other choices. For instance, every habit has a cue, a routine, and a reward. If your habit is to go to the gym after work, then your cue is when that clock hits 5 p.m. Your body begins to anticipate a good workout. After the routine of an hour at the gym, your body feels energized and refreshed, flowing with positive chemicals released throughout the body. If you want to start, stop, or change a habit, you need to deal with cues and rewards. If you want to refresh your soul and take your faith to new heights, here are five spiritual habits that'll change your life. Number one, consume the word. When Jesus was tempted in the desert by Satan, he spoke to the importance of scripture when he said, man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Matthew chapter four, verse four. This spiritual habit is more than simply reading a quick Bible verse or devotional to start your day. It's an attitude towards the word that approaches it like a starving man approaches a loaf of bread. Read the word, think about it throughout the day, listen to it, meditate on it, memorize it and consume it. There are three rewards to look forward to when you consume the word. Guidance, spiritual food and renewed mind. When you consume the word, you gain a new perspective on life and receive guidance. At the same time, you feed your soul just like you feed your body with physical food. Over time, consuming the word renews your mind, changing the way you think and therefore changing the way you live. A great cue for consuming the word is rise and fall from Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 7. When you get up in the morning and when you lay down, when you get up from your desk at work and when you sit down after lunch, take a moment and consume the word. Number two, pray continually. Prayer is commanded throughout Scripture. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17 is one example. So while the command isn't new, our approach to prayer might need to be. Prayer isn't about coming to God with a Christmas wish list like you'd approach the Santa Claus waiting at the mall. Praying continually is cultivating an ongoing, vibrant, life-giving conversation with your Heavenly Father. When you pray continually, you'll discover the joys of selflessness when you take the focus off of yourself and intercede for other people. As Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7 promises, you'll experience the peace that transcends all understanding that'll guard your heart when you pray. And over time, you'll be able to point to specific moments in time when God showed up and answered your prayers in powerful ways. A cue for pray continually is take a sip. Most of us drink something throughout the day, perhaps a cup of coffee to start the day or bottled water after lunch. Every time you take a sip, use that as a cue to remind you to speak to your Heavenly Father and pray continually. Number three, walk in the Spirit. It might seem a little odd at first if you aren't raised with an awareness or appreciation of the Holy Spirit, but if you read the book of Acts, you'll quickly see that the Holy Spirit is the main character of Acts. The early church doesn't exist without the Holy Spirit. We need Him today just as much as the early church did. Walking in the Spirit is about making yourself aware of His presence, surrendering to His will, and obeying what He tells you to do. When you walk in the Spirit, 
will sense the presence of God in and around you. You will begin to see divine movements of God as God shows up tangibly in your world. And as the Bible promises in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23, over time, walking in the Spirit will produce the fruit of the Spirit, and your life will be characterized by love, joy, peace, and all the others. A great fear for walking in the Spirit is the physical act of walking itself. When you're walking from your house to the car or from one end of the office to the other, take a moment to recognize the Spirit's presence in your life, submit to Him, and obey what He leads you to do. Number 4. Love Others Sacrificially This habit is the easiest to understand and the hardest to live out. We all know that loving others is essential to the Christian ethic, yet many of us try and redefine what it actually means to love others. We think if we feel compassion or have a good intention, that's enough. If you read Luke 10 and the parable of the Good Samaritan, Jesus clearly defines loving others in terms of actions, not just intentions. When you make a habit of loving others sacrificially, you'll discover a sense of purpose as you are steeped in the realization that you are a part of something that matters. Over time, you'll see lives transformed as hearts are softened through the most powerful weapon in the world, love. And long after you're gone, your act of sacrificial love will continue to multiply to future generations. A great cue for loving others sacrificially is every time you touch your phone, whether you touch your phone as a prelude to interacting with the world or escaping from it, touching your phone happens as many times throughout the day as we should be loving others sacrificially, continuously. Lastly, number five, share Jesus. All four previous habits build up to this one, and you'll discover how much easier and how much more effective sharing Jesus when you're consuming the Word and praying continually. You'll also discover a new level of effectiveness in your witness when you walk in the Spirit and allow Him to lead you towards those ready to hear the Gospel and when you preface your message with acts of sacrificial love. Sharing Jesus fills you with joy as you fulfill the main mission left you on this earth to do. You'll also see your faith and confidence explode as you go public with your faith. Finally, you'll see eternal destinies forever change because of your willingness to share your faith. The cue for this habit is every conversation. Every time you enter into a conversation with someone, ask the Spirit when and how you can share Jesus. These five habits are easy and they're so worth it. When you stack an active prayer life on top of a regular consumption of the Word, you cultivate an ongoing conversation with God into which the Spirit will join, leading you to walking in the Spirit. Walking in the Spirit will always lead you to someone you can love sacrificially and share Jesus with. Make no mistake, these five spiritual habits have the power to change your life. Do you have more spiritual habits you can share with us? Let us know in the comments section down below. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. To learn more about Answerly and Answerly tokens, check out the links in the description.